Ganon doesn't have the best recovery, but he, he has a little bit of mix-ups for sure. And Lucas is very slippery, so having Ganon actually like being able to follow Lucas is kind of difficult. You gotta have to stop him with a dash attack, I would think. And then Dan just kind of just, you know, gets hit. <laughs> I feel like he's just gonna get hit. Well, we'll see. You haven't seen me in any uh, day to days and teams, I don't think. Um... But definitely can uh, stock tank for sure. And really interrupt stuff, perhaps. I just feel like day to day relies on like stage control type of stuff. But... We'll see. All right, round one. <laughs> like, okay, going to stadium. They're, they're, oh, I guess uh, they're split up. Actually, I feel like the spawn locations are kind of important sometimes. See, now they're on the same side. Now they can really get their game plan going. So day to day is gonna take the back, but I guess that's their plan for now. And day to day is just gonna keep it. <laughs> So just so much chaos with Ganon, double Ganon for sure, you know, you get hit once, uh, you're gonna get forward aired, and even forward airing your own partner, it's gonna happen for sure, but that's just part of the, the double Ganon. <clears throat> and we'll see how it goes, no stock's been taken, it's pretty even so far, we'll see how it goes, like killing is very important, obviously, and killing is different than doing damage, um, so actually getting the kill in this, very easy for Ganon I would assume. Um, but for the other two, you know, Lucas kind of relies on setup sometimes, and day to day kind of relies on edge guards. I would just, uh, I would think, for sure. But nice, get, gets a couple of clean kills from Melody. Uh, really, really well done, I think. Um, and still alive. So yeah, getting Ganon off stage probably day to day's game plan for sure. I would almost like invite myself to just go off stage for sure. But early kill for Melody too. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, Ganon's just getting Ganon. He's <laughs> the Ganon recovery. And still hasn't killed Melody. Alright, finally gets the four tilt. That's fine. Can he get the edge guard? No. That's smart. You just avoid, do the safe option when you're 2v1. And uh, that was very interesting from Potatoes. Uh, going for the up B off stage for some uh, reason. I feel like edge guarding Lucas, you kind of. You can go off stage, but it's very risky. He's got the tether, he's got the up B different angles and different ways to actually do the PK Thunder. Okay, does get the four down day today. Definitely needed that right now. Um, because uh, I think Potatoes is at one stock right now. It's a bad bad situation. Oh, actually gets his partner, but that's worth, you know. If you're up a stock, I'll take a one for one. And then he kills his partner. Nice, nice, nice. Love to see it. <laughs> All right, yeah, 2v1 with Ganon. Uh, probably not the best. You also got a swallow side guy, so gets him off stage. All right, he's doing okay. He's doing okay. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, random up B, random down B. Love it, love it. Back here. Oh, all right. Yeah, that wasn't really working out. I don't think. It's very hard to do that with Ganon. Maybe if it was one. One like one stock each for sure, but and then game two let's let's think it counter picks. I feel like small stage for sure. You definitely want the small stage. Uh, just Ganon, you know Ganon things. Ganon can live for a long time, but you know those are early kills of forward air with bad DI. You know in teams DI can get kind of hectic sometimes. You get hit by something you, you didn't expect. All right, just go to the neutral stage, um, which is fine. Ganon can do some things on platforms. Up air kind of like covers everything. So as long as they just like have a game plan in mind, I think, should be going forth. Like, you know, the common core game plan is like you have someone aggressing, and then if like your aggressor gets in trouble, you have your support character come behind and uh, hit them during the, the hit lag of uh, the opposing teammate. But it's still not going too well. Joey's dead. That backer does not kill. So this is looking very rough, but it gets the edge guard. Nice. Oh, he 
Is he dead for that? He almost got the swall side of like zero. Keeps going for it. Let's go. <laughs> gets gets the damage. All right, edge guard opportunity for everybody. Oh wow, actually catches the air dodge. And this is bad for uh, Melody, but he has a partner right there. All right, yeah, that could have been way worse. If, uh, I actually don't. Dumb shiny? Oh, it's dumb shiny. <laughs> Should have done it. Dumb shiny wasn't there. Oh, I saw the tag and I was like, thank you, base god. Please, thank you, base god. <laughs> Alright, Lucas sh should be dead. This is gonna be an edge guard and dumb shiny is occupied. Wow, actually gets the little slight fast fall with the tether, but ends up dying anyway. Uh, so it's actually uh, Ganon team lead. Um, Joey should still be alive. Actually goes for the edge hog, that's good. And up throw will take it. So we're basically even at this point. Joey opts to not uh, use his invincibility, but sometimes staggering your invinci invincibility with your teammate is uh, uh, beneficial instead of using both invincibility at the same time. Uh, I really like that as an option, but I feel like he went a little bit too early. All right, has an opportunity, goes for the... Oh, this could be bad. All right, gets the tag, nice. All right, edge guard opportunity. It does like some <laughs> some weird stuff. All right, I'll take it. And Melody, in the meantime, did have an early loss. Uh, I think it was a SD for sure. It gets the back air, um, and it's it's almost even. It's almost even, like percentages plus like kills. Um, I think in a two v one, you want the day to day, so it would be beneficial to kill the day to day first. Oh, nice. That was that was optimal. That was a great game choice right there to actually take the one for one. Um, and now, like in this op in this situation, even though I don't know if day to day is the best, like uh, okay, all right, never mind, never mind. We're we're not thinking here. We're just doing things. But you know, in that situation, like a two v one, a lot of people, a lot of. Uh, Early level people don't know how to go about it, and even though you might be the worst aggressor on the two, like the, the worst approacher, sometimes it's better for the less percentage person to go in, for sure. Because then you have the high percentage guy come in, and if your approacher gets hurt, you know, you just take take one hit. Like, if Lucas gets like a downer off of some hit lag, it's, it, it's a lot of damage, for sure. So 2 out so far, everything best of 5, he's gonna go back, I don't know what I would go to, I feel like stadium's fine, I feel like, yeah, uh, I don't think it's the right decision, they're basically dying from uh, Lucas back air, so it doesn't matter what stage you pick, alright going back. They did pretty well, I think. Uh, okay. Well, they were doing okay. Well, they're hitting each other, but they were doing pretty well for sure. They had it. Uh, they had it even for a bit, and they even had a lead. So we'll see how this goes. They have it split up right now. I don't really like when teams are split up like this. You know, just becoming two one v ones just gets rid of the chemistry of the the matter. But yeah, now now it's like more positioning based, more like front man back man. All right, I think I think Melody and Tough Shiny. This is like if you if you separate to one v ones, you're like, we're we're the, we're the better better individual players. So let's just do that. <laughs> let's not go for the team combos. Like maybe they think like their team doesn't really have great team combos, but okay, Joey, you're just insane. Like what was that? <laughs> All right, you got it. You have an aggressor. So you had day to day in front there, doing the four tilts. So kind of like that for sure. Lucas can come behind and definitely is a combo master. All right, a little bit of bad di there. This could be a kill. All right, just dies instead. Oh, the reversal of the reversal. So I so said they're definitely they got the stocks now. I really I didn't have to look back at this match because I do not know how they lost their stocks. Nice, double forwarder. Yeah, when you have day to day with multiple jumps, it's hard to really to combat that for sure. In a scrap on in the air. All right. 
That was a big opportunity there, though. Once you get a grab on Lucas, that's usually a pretty big deal. It goes for the down throw, though. I, I feel like up throw is just uh, better damage. You should have just grabbed ledge there. All right, so it's still it's still Ganon's game to win for sure. But you you never know. Like Ganon's support are so big, and like they seem to be just like going off stage, just constantly going off stage. So, all right, Lucas does Lucas things, ends up dying. That happens. This is pretty much Ganon's game. Um, it's it's hard to come back from this, but we'll see. Ford, I really don't like Ganon Ford B in teams. That doesn't seem like a good, uh, but you never know. I'm not the Ganon main. I just play melee Ganon and melee uh, Ford B doesn't, er, it's not the same. <laughs> okay, so all they need to do, like, in this situation, once, once you're up in stock, like, you just want trades. You just want trades all the time. Like, because then you'll eventually just, uh, like, whittle them away. Love it. So day to day in a 2v1. Okay. Doing pretty good actually. Nice up the other shield. Definitely not uh, the best. Especially in 2v1. Like in 1v1 that might be okay. But... Okay. So one grab ledge, keep refreshing. And then uh yep. Clean, clean, clean. Yeah, just okay, okay, yeah. A lot of lag on it, D to D up So now where do they go? I think, I feel like, do they want FD? Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Cause I feel like big stage doesn't really benefit. It really hurts Lucas the most. But like I was saying before, uh, they were getting a lot of edge guards with Lucas back there. So depending on how big the stage is, it doesn't really matter. Fans Stadium. Oh no, because they won there. Did they? No, they didn't even win there. They just fans. Oh. No, they won there. Never mind. I lied. Fans FD. Okay. I feel like FD can invite a lot of like uh, weird stuff. And you can really press advantage when you have people in the air. Delfino. <laughs> Lots of room, lots of room, lots of room for Lucas to run around and stuff. Oh, that was scary. Lucas off stage always scares me, but Lucas's are very confident in their uh, recovery. So once again, spreading it out. Like I, I like that Ganon is trying to do the, uh, uh, the the team combo stuff. I don't like the separation, but. Nice, nice. The lag of the, the shield stun. Lucas goes in, takes advantage of that. I love it. All right, yeah. Clean edge guard. Nice. Clean from both players. So much chaos at this point. Well, you got a Ganon off stage in your day-to-day. -day, like, that's pretty good. Joey really needs to, yeah. Lucas preoccupying. I don't even know what happened. I really don't know what happened to <laughs> Two Ganons off stage and the Lucas dies. Oh no, the Lucas is okay. Friggin' Lucas, man. Sometimes. Looking at some double Ganon. Huh? Double Ganon's losing. What's up, teammate? Yeah, I feel like I, I haven't had chat, so I don't know if, uh,. I don't know if I've been saying nothing this whole time, but... Uh, okay. Yeah. No. Sure, I... The Ganon, the Ganon players. Now we can hear each other. Got chat coming up. Yeah, I feel like Double Ganon is a better team than Lucas day to day, but... I, I feel like Double yeah. Ganon is so fun, like, just forward air, forward air, forward air. Yeah, but it, it's, it's, a, it's a team that requires too much restraint, I think. And it's like very hard to like coordinate. 
Oh, Make sure you I, don't I, like hit your teammate a bunch. And they were like doing some offstage stuff. Sure. Melody kills himself. Very nice. HDR. Mm. It's free. If it's after. Okay, that's fine. Are we doing single M for it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, dumb shiny melody. Take it. Very nice. Um, Hell yeah, brother. Next on stream is going to be uh, Bongo and Watch and Learn versus uh, Saber and Pikmon. Mm. So that should be a pretty good set, I think. 